And temperatures were in the teens early this morning, kind of just brutal conditions to fight a fire. I'm going to look over my shoulder. They're still battling, putting out hotspots on that fire, but you can see chunks of ice on the Merrimack River. And the firefighters needed that water to help put out that fire. Haverhill firefighters said they got a call from the homeowners that they were having electrical problems with a hot tub early this morning. And by the time Haverhill fire arrived, this home was fully engulfed in flames. Well, we had some issues with fire hydrants coming in, a, a fire hydrant, the main hydrant. You came down the main road, it's a long road. That problem with a hydrant forced firefighters to draw water from nearby Merrimack River to battle the blaze. And just 10 minutes down the road in Merrimack, crews battled another fire. Firefighters were called to a multifamily home on Church Street. Complicating matters, multiple fire hydrants were malfunctioning, likely due to the cold. No reports of any injuries. The two families who live in this home are now displaced. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Back in Haverhill this afternoon, they were still putting water on hot spots of the home next to a Merrimack River marina. The good news, everyone got out safe. No injuries to firefighters, everybody's healthy. All the occupants got out, fortunately. Uh, I know the homeowner, I believe, uh, is being seen for some smoke inhalation, I believe, at this point. Back live now, they are still putting out hotspots on that fire, but we're told none of the boats connected nearby to this marina were affected by this blaze. Live in Groveland, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, New Center 5.